Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys. If you're an FPS gamer who watches Twitch, then chances are you've heard of Dr. Disrespect. Recently, he announced a partnership with Rocket, a German company making gaming peripherals. So what we're taking a look at here is kind of the Rocket Dr. Disrespect uh, peripheral setup. We have the Kane 200 AMO, and the Sense AMO as well, the mouse pad, and also the Vulcan 121 AMO. So we're gonna take a quick look at these and see how they perform. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the keyboard now. This isn't a brand new keyboard. It's been out for a couple years, um, but the 121 AMO has some really great features built into it. You can see that it's a full-size keyboard. Overall, I think the design is really attractive. You know, sometimes gaming keyboards can go too far into the uh, gaming world and get too, you know, spaceshipy. but I think Rocket has done a really good job of keeping the Vulcan 121 um, really a, a good looking keyboard. This one, the 121 AMO, has a brushed black finish on top. There are also white and gray variants available with the 122 and 120 Vulcan keyboards. One of Rocket's main selling points with the Vulcan keyboards is its low profile design, which down at the front, at the, at the base of it, where you're uh, close to where the palm would rest, um, it is very low profile. And then the rest of it does slope up. It gets a little bit bigger towards the top. And this is about the same size as a uh, Huntsman Elite keyboard. So at the top, it doesn't feel that low profile, but down at the bottom, it definitely is. And that leads into a nice transition into the palm rest. And so it's a very uh, comfortable hand position for that. And the palm rest is just magnetic. It can snap off really easily. Uh, I can see it's very thin there. So, you know, if you do or don't want that, it's very easy to attach and remove. Another one of the main features of the Vulcan 121 AMO is its RGB lighting, which is uh, some of the best I've seen in a gaming keyboard. Because of the small keycap design that actually, you know, shows off a lot of the switch underneath, um, the LED RGB lighting shines through the clear switch housing uh, really brilliantly. And so if you're directly above it, the keycaps can, you know, kind of block it. But if you're off to the side, you get kind of a straight shot into that um, RGB lighting. And so it really is quite bright and quite colorful. And we'll talk about it a little bit more in a little bit, um, but all the RGB lighting is customizable within the Rocket Swarm app. Um, so there's some really cool functions and features in there that you can apply. All right, so now let's talk about the switches, which are a proprietary uh, switch from Rocket. Uh, they call these the Titan switches. And on the 121 AMO, there are two different variations available. They have a brown switch, which is a tactile uh, mechanical switch, and then they also have a red linear switch. I went with the tactile um, just because I, I haven't been a fan of linear switches yet. I feel like <laughs> when I'm playing, you know, intense FPS games, sometimes I'm just resting my fingers on the switch and accidentally activate them. Uh, so I prefer a tactile or even a clicky switch sometimes. And these switches perform uh, really well in combination with the keycaps. They have a really good feel to them for gaming. Sometimes while typing, uh, to me, the switches felt a little bit mushy. I felt like it kind of brought down my uh, maximum typing speed a little bit. But for gaming, um, they felt really, really good. I like the tactile feel. They're not too heavy, not too light. Uh, they had a really good feel and I, I really enjoyed it while gaming. And just a little bit more about the keycaps here, playing FPS games like Escape from Tarkov, I felt like that made it really easy to uh, hit the lean keys. Um, and so I could do, you know, a little bit combination of leaning and strafing at the same time. And that, I felt like that was a little bit easier to do on this keyboard than other ones that I've tried. So overall, I think the Rocket Vulcan 121 AMO is a great gaming keyboard. Obviously the RGB is brilliant and one of its you know strongest points. I think the switches feel really good. Um, it's not too loud. They have a good sound to them though. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of the functionality when we get down into the Rocket Swarm application. The Vulcan 121 AMO is usually priced at $160, which puts it pretty close to one of my favorite keyboards, the Razer Huntsman Elite. Right now though, you can pick it up for $120, which all things considered seems like a pretty good deal for what you're getting. So next up, let's talk about the other main component, the Rocket Kane 200 wireless gaming mouse. Obviously we have the matte white variant here, but they also have a black one as well. Um, but the white to me looks really sharp. You know, even though we have the black keyboard, I think that the white mouse looks uh, really, really sharp. I really like it. 
Overall, it has a nice modern design to it. There's a brushed metal finish around the scroll wheel and DPI button. And then this is also the RGB light enabled, their AMO. So it has uh, lights in the logo down where your palm would sit and then also on the scroll wheel. And those are all customizable and uh, interactive within the Rocket Swarm app. As far as functions on the Kane 200, we have obviously the two mouse switches, the scroll wheel, which can also be pushed in, a uh, DPI button, and then the two side button. So pretty standard for a gaming mouse like this. There is a USB-A to micro USB cable to connect a USB hub for the wireless receiver, which you can also then unplug that micro USB connection and plug it into the mouse for charging. The mouse should get about 50 hours with the RGB lights turned off and closer to 33 with the RGB lighting turned on. So Rocket also uses their own proprietary uh, Titan click switches in the mouse, which have a really good feel to them. They're nice and clicky, have a good sound, a good feel to them, not too firm, not too soft. Um, I felt like they had a really good response when playing uh, FPS games. And all the other buttons feel really well positioned to me. The scroll wheel feels nice. The side buttons are easy to access. Um, they feel maybe a little bit pulled back when compared to like the Razer Death Adder, but felt pretty similar to the Logitech G703. The Kane 200 isn't as light as some of the other, you know, really lightweight gaming mice we've checked out recently, but it comes in a little over 100 grams, so it's still not too bad. I found it to be plenty easy to use for FPS games like Warzone or Escape from Tarkov. For the sensor, Rocket is also using their own proprietary technology with the Owl Eye optical sensor uh, that goes up to 16,000 DPI. And the sensor seemed to work really well for me. I never had any issues with it jumping around on screen or anything like that. Um, I felt like it tracked really well. So overall, I think the Kane 200 is a great gaming mouse. I think it has a really striking design. The RGB lighting is really nice, um, and I, it was really easy to use and felt really good. The Kane 200 AMO is usually listed at $100, uh, but right now you can pick it up for $70. So now let's head over and talk about the Rocket Swarm app, which is what you use to change any macros, any customization on the peripherals, and also any of the lighting. Within the Rocket Swarm app, there is a ton of control over keys, macros, and lighting. The Vulcan 121 has macros built in by default by enabling game mode and pressing function scroll. This disables the Windows key and turns the navigation and editing keys into macros labeled as M1 through M6. There are also profiles that can be customized and enabled for different programs. On the lighting side, there's a ton that you can do. Um, I chose to keep it the same with the AMO intelligent design because it reacts to all the different keystrokes that uh, you input. If you hold a key down for longer, uh, there will be a light that kind of grows from that area. And so it's a really striking RGB display that looks really good. And so the final part of the Dr. Disrespect setup is the Sense AMO RGB mouse pad. You can see it has a RGB lighting strip woven around the perimeter here. And then it has a removable uh, micro USB connection as well. So that makes it really easy to move around, store if you need to. Uh, you can just unplug it there and do what you need to with it. The mouse pad looks and feels great. Um, and it's nice to have the interaction with the RGB as well. Uh, it just adds to the really brilliant uh, lighting aesthetic that all of these rocket peripherals have. So overall, I've been really impressed with the Dr. Disrespect um, peripheral lineup from Rocket. I think that their design language looks really good. Um, everything is really clean with some little discrete features built in, but everything feels very clean, um, both on the keyboard, the mouse, and the mouse pad as well. The AMO lighting on the Vulcan 121 is some of the best that I've seen in a gaming keyboard. Um, and I found myself really enjoying using these brown switches as well. So what do you think of the Rocket Dr. Disrespect lineup? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.